What's up everybody, Edwin here for NE Fishing. Uh, thanks for joining me. Today we're doing another fillet and release video. This time we're gonna be featuring the ever so humble Ling. Uh, well, it's actually, its proper name is Red Hake. Um, and it's a reef dwelling fish found in the deep waters of the East Coast. Uh, it's a very abundant fish. In fact, it's so abundant that currently, and for many years now, there's been a uh, no limit on them. Uh, no limit on the size and no limit on the quantity. So you can keep as many as you want at whatever size you want. And as you can see, we actually caught a few different variety, uh, different variety of sizes here. Uh, this is a typical size one right here, but there are some nice jumbos out there, like this nice big one. Beautiful right there, a lot of meat on that guy. And uh, we actually caught these by accident while we were fishing for black sea bass, since they inhabit the same uh, areas as other uh, reef dwelling fish. Um, but like I said, they're very abundant, uh, they're very eager biters, they will bite whatever you put down in front of their face, from um, salted clams to cut bait to even, they'll even bite the uh, gulp baits, uh, the artificial stuff. So they're very abundant, uh, eager biters, and can really uh, help add to the uh, uh, <laughs> to collection of uh, fine eats from the uh, deep ocean. Um, they're extremely delicious uh, fish, uh, they have beautiful white meat, very flaky, uh, just delicious when you uh, fry them up. Uh, uh, you can fry them up whole if you want to as well, but the fillets come out really, really, really tasty. So I want to do a video on how to fillet the ling. It's actually very simple to do. To do. Uh, you really only need two uh, tools. You only need a fillet knife and some skinning pliers, and I'll show you what these are for. They're not really for skinning. Uh, it, I'll show you what these will come in handy for later on. So uh, I want to get started on, on uh, filleting these guys. Let's start off with this guy right here. Very simple to do. You take your fillet knife. These guys kind of look like little catfish, don't they? Uh, if anyone could tell me what these are for, uh, I'd be happy to know. Uh, I don't know if they use them for uh, feeling around stuff in the sand, maybe looking for food or something. But uh, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna take our fish. We're gonna come right here, grab it firmly by the head, come behind the pectoral fin, and cut behind the head at a 45 degree angle towards the head. And just cut straight down till you reach the backbone. When you reach the backbone, you're gonna turn your knife sideways and you're gonna ride that backbone, that backbone all the way down, cutting through the ribs. Like that. All the way to the tail. And you release the fillet. Look at the beautiful white meat on that. So it's very simple to do, no special cuts or anything, just cut right behind the head for a five degree angle, turn the knife sideways, and then ride the backbone all the way through. And repeat that on the other side. Cut right behind the head, cut through this belly meat right here. Turn the knife sideways, cut through the ribs, and then just ride that backbone all the way through and release the second fillet. There we go. Got our two fillets right there ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time. Use this big guy right here. Okay, same thing. Grab it firmly by the head, cut right behind the pectoral fin, cut right behind the head at a 45 degree angle. To reach the backbone, turn the knife sideways, cut through the ribs, and ride that backbone all the way down to the tail. There you go, one beautiful fillet right there. Turn the fish around, same thing, repeat. Cut right behind the head. Turn the knife sideways, cut through the ribs, and then ride down. There we go. All right. It's a little bit messy, but trust me, this meat is very, very worth it. All right. What we're going to do now is we're gonna remove the rib cage off the fish. I cut right here and just cut right where the ribs 
start. And then we're gonna cut away the ribs. No point in saving the belly meat because the skin and the meat are so thin there that it's really not worth trying to save it. It's mostly skin and bone right there. Okay. Now once you've got your fillet and you remove the uh, rib bones, the good thing about it is when you do it correctly, you'll actually remove any pin bones as well. Got one little piece right here. I'm just gonna cut right off. And now we're gonna use our skinning pliers. Again, not to skin the fish, actually to help hold the fillet easier to use skinning pliers for this process than to use your fingers. Trust me, your fingers will appreciate it. I'm going to grab the tail section right here with the skinning pliers, grab our knife, going to cut down to the skin, and then we're going to work it back and forth. I have a little rip here. The skin is so thin on these guys that unfortunately it does rip very easily. It's the only bad thing about Ling, that they're very delicate. still take care of that don't worry just come right here cut down and then remove that little piece of skin right there there we go beautiful beautiful little fillet all right let's repeat that again one more time remove the rib cage cut all the way down If you want to, you can also cut to the skin and then start the skinning process right here as well if you wanted to do that, save a little bit of time. There you go. Another nice beautiful filet right there. All right, let's finish up with this guy right here. Use our skinning pliers this time. And go back and forth. There we go. Cut the fins. Just cut that out right there. Another nice beautiful fillet. And finally this last one. Same thing. Like I said, very easy. Doesn't really take much time at all. go beautiful beautiful all white meat ready for the fryer all right so I'm gonna finish up with the rest of these guys right here including this big old jumbo and uh, thanks for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed this video I have plenty of other fillet and release videos uh, uh, on my channel uh, please give this video a like uh, please share and please subscribe all that helps my channel grow uh, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Hope everyone's keeping safe out there and get out there and fish. See ya. Hey everybody, uh, I know the video just finished, but I just want to show you everybody how beautiful the meat looks on all these ling. Uh, these are the fillets, all boneless and skinless. And as you can see, just beautiful, beautiful, all white meat. And these fish are so delicious and they're akin to cod. Uh, like I said, you can actually just cut these in half make a beer batter out of them um, and fry them up and it's just one of the best eating fish in the east coast uh, like I said very abundant so if you can hop onto a party boat that goes out for them or a uh, charter boat that will go out to the deep uh, water you find them in uh, wrecks and reefs a um, hundred feet deep or uh, or even less uh, and uh, you can have a really good time uh, enjoying these little fish so again thanks for watching hope you enjoyed give that video a like share and subscribe